In this video, I want to show you how to join the two ends of an infinity scarf. Hi there, it's Denise from LumaHead.com and this is a clip from my mock crochet infinity scarf video. If you're interested in learning how to knit that scarf, I'll put a link to the video in the description. Alright, how about we begin. You should have one end that is still on the loom and your other end which is your cast off and I did tighten these um, loose loops from my cast on and I'll give you a link in the description. You don't have to do that but it does give it a much nicer finished look. So now you're going to take that end that you did the cast off and you're going to bring it into the inside of your loom and you need to remount these loops onto your peg now you have one on the end and it looks really tight like it doesn't belong but it is an important loop and I'm going to show you where it is it is right here and it's a funny looking one so you're going to have to with your hook stretch it out in order to get it to remount onto that peg and you need that one so that you have enough loops from end to end and now don't leave any behind like I almost did right here you have the right amount of loops they should add up and you see that I almost did that again right I don't know once you have them all on now it's time to knit off and you have the working yarn from both ends the one that's was on your loom and the one that you remounted so what you're going to do is you're going to bring that loop from the bottom over the top and knit off and that's what's going to basically bring the two sides and connect them and now to secure everything you're going to take the working yarn from um, the end that was still on the loom and you're going to bring it and come around almost to your entire loom and cut that working yarn which was still connected to your skein and you're going to get your needle I don't use these plastic needles anymore and you'll see why but I did on this video and so here we go I'm going to make a knot with the two working yarns it's just another way of feeling more secure it's not a big deal but it does help and then you're going to take the needle that you uh, threaded with your working yarn and bring it from the bottom up and then on the next loop from the top down and this is just another way of securing your two ends again you're going from the bottom up and you see these needles bend and they'll split your yarn and it's just oh well this is why I use metal blunt needles much easier to work with and I'll put a link in the description all right you see that basically the pattern is that you go up and then you come down and you go from the top until you get all the way to the last one and when you reach this last one you're going to go in again and then make a knot to secure everything in place all is well and now all you have to do is remove the loops from your pegs and once you free up your scarf you can take it off and look how cool and neat that looks on both sides you can't tell me that you can see that seam because wow you can't it's a great technique I love it and I use it again and again and the last thing you're gonna do is that you're gonna weave in your ends now in this video I'm using a crochet hook I now use my needle instead I find it goes faster I have better control and I'm not stretching out my loops like I am um, with a crochet hook it's just way neater so that's one side and remember that you have on the other side more working yarn so don't forget to do the same thing on the other end and weave it in all right guys that is it and here is your link to the video and I'll see you next time when I spin my loom again don't forget to like comment subscribe share the video and every day is a good day to love with your looms